and we are active for the good of our nation. You're listening to Hotline on Radio Jamaica 94 FM. Right now, though, we grow your business. It's a feature that we have that is sponsored by the Jamaica Business Development Corporation. And I have with me, in a little bit, by the way, um, so in, in a little bit, we're going to be having Val Vieira. And uh, she needs very little introduction, but we will speak with her in a bit. Somebody I've known personally for a long, 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 long time. But, you know, the JBDC, just in case you don't know, is a repository of the knowledge and expertise and guidance when for all small enterprises. That's micro, medium, and small enterprises. Let me tell you this. If you want to see a country develop, okay, if you want to see a country develop, make sure that you deal with small business. So, I have with me online Valerie Vieira. Hi, my friend. How are you? Lord have mercy. <laughs> Valerie Vieira. My darling. I How you do? Yeah. CDJ. Yes. Yes. You know, um, I can't, you know, when I... Um, you know, when I heard you got the national honors, mm-hmm. I mean, I let you know, let me just call a spade a spade. I did say better late than never, but I thought that you should have got it many years earlier. But I'm happy that you did, right? Of course. Um, you have been you have been in public service for a hell of a long time. You they gave her about four. It's about forty years or more. No, nearer to 50. nearer to fifty, right? Yeah. You matter about near forty because I know. Oh, exactly. yes, yes, yes. Right. I started working when I was two years old. All right. So give me a little bit. Um, so I know that you are, you know, you were at the JBDC for many, many years. Yes. Um, first time I, we, we, we had a conversation as, as young civil servants in those days mm-hmm. was um, at the Language Training Center, 1981, January. Mm-hmm. We were having a conversation attempting to do so in Spanish with exactly. Glenn Jackman. You remember? 1981, half of the people have never born yet. But no. your service began earlier than that. So talk yes. to me a little bit about well, when you, you know, start. I started about 1975, mm-hmm. 76, um, did my first and only application for a job mm-hmm. and, and started at the Minister of National Security. Okay. You know, so I did the interview and the gentleman, Mr. Gunter, who passed a few years now, near a hundred. Mm-hmm. He smiled and he asked me if I could start the next day. <laughs> <laughs> because he asked me a question and he said, um, I'm going to put you in the immigration department, if you agree. And um, But I want to know if somebody asks you to do something that's not by the rules, what would you do? I said, well, I'd refuse. But if they persist, then my integrity, which is what I bring to the table, would be in my handbag. Wow. And my home, I, my name is on a room. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, water, light, and food is available free of cost. Mm. And, so, yeah, and you said all of that, right? Same stuff. Same <laughs> stuff. But you'd meet anybody else except you. <laughs> all right. You'd laugh and employ me, by the way. Right. And so you were at that ministry for how long? About eight years, you know, about eight years. Yes. It was, it was good years, mm-hmm. but going in up and down the lift, um, you know, I talked to everybody, and this lady, I didn't know she was the HR for Minister of Industry, and she asked me if I could come to see her. Yeah, she was, at the same time you call him, Director of Personnel. Ah, <laughs> so there I went, and she said, I think you do well in this ministry, you know. Mm-hmm. And she offered me a job. And it really fitted into my concept of what I'd really like to do and how I'd like to spend my time. So I resided in the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce. Different names over the time, you know, yes. it changed every time, but basically Minister of Industry. Mm-hmm. And I've just resided there through various, um, the ministry itself and then various agencies and institutions. 
under that ministry until I led the establishment of JBDC, which is 23 years ago. Right. So I'm really a, a student of the Ministry of Industry right. and Commerce. Mm-hmm. So the, so let's talk about this place that mm-hmm. you are most famous for. <laughs> right. Now, the, you know, the JBDC, mm-hmm. you've been associated with it since the beginning. Yes. Whose idea was it? Whose brainchild and what was it like? You had a team. Tell yes. me about the always inception and the incubation. Yes, we yeah. always have a team. Now, I came back from a certain university and came back with, you know, bright eyes and so on and was asked again by the same man, Pony, you know, he turned up in my life again and he was now director of personnel at the new Jam Pro. And he invited me to join back the staff there. And I was in charge of um, negotiating technical cooperation and so on. And with the help of the United UNDP, we recognized that there was fragmentation in the support to this sector them called small business. It was like token. You spend two years and you do a project, then it's end. Right. No sustainability and so on. So it, the germ for JBDC came out of a collective. My um, crazy consultant from Cyprus, Mr. Varanis, Mr. Harold Davis, who is now acting as CEO, was part of that team, and a number of others within my little unit, mm-hmm. which said we need to really rationalize the support for the small business sector. And, uh, you know, we fight and battle, and the idea came through. Now, if you want to know if Nanny in my head, Nanny in my DNA, mm-hmm. because we fought it through without budget, whatever, and we managed to really get endorsement. Then it was Mr. Patterson, who was our Prime Minister, and Minister Paul Well was our Minister, and they gave us the support, mm-hmm. and we established the JBDC as a company um, under the Ministry of Industry, Investment, and Commerce. And we just haven't looked back since then. We just won with Nanny of the Maroon pushing and fighting. But I think achieving, I'm proud to say that the team has achieved a lot during the 23 years, you know? Yes. That first leg of the journey because the mission continues. You know, I'm looking at a list of <laughs> things and events, eh? Yes. Chronologically. So yes. I'm looking at, you know, Things Jamaican, and I'm very yes. happy that we recovered or recouped Things Jamaican. Yes. Um, yes. Because, you know, I had deep feelings about that entity and where it yes. was located at Bumper Hall when I was a schoolboy. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and then to see it being replaced physically by yes. a prison, pretty much, yes. it was just like, oh, there you go. That uh, yes. that pretty much answers the question, the sociological yes. question for me. Exactly. But then I realized that you you kept it as a brand, yes, and you integrated it deeply in your in mm-hmm. in, in the JBDC, the business model, and Thank the JBDC and, and the JBDC was of course in its fledgling state as well, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? So so you had things Jamaica, and then the Kumba Miyaba. I can't even believe. That um, that was so that's so long ago because it sounded yeah. like it was yesterday, and I remember, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's and I remember, that, I remember exactly. that beautiful voice in the ad, yes, <laughs> <laughs> cool. yeah, I remember, and so then building youth and um, yes, be, uh, yeah, being yes. building youth for national development program, um, right? Exactly. Then exactly. then the, the, the UNDP income generating enterprises project, they, then they then of course. The one that keeps on keeps on giving, the mm-hmm. JBDC Incubator and Resource Center. Oh, yes, fantastic. that yes. is celebrating you know, 19 years now. Can Next year, 20 years. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Then, yes. Yes. then of course, you start spreading all over satellite offices yes, uh, all man. over the country. Love it. We get large. Yes. We get large. Yes. And yes. you know, a um, lot of people don't even know this, but that Cricket World Cup. Mm-hmm. Uh, and all the merchandising and stuff like that. Oh, the business was you. You know, you were deeply involved in all of that too. Oh yes. Then we so have w- yes, we have Lionheart. Definitely. 
No, you, I mean, I could go on and on, but of course, I'm going to run out of time to talk about yes. as I talk about all of these things. Um, oh, so, boy. but speak to me more about the the journey, the growth of the JBDC. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, some of the things and that you would consider mm-hmm. to be uh, very, very important signal, life changing time. You know, mm-hmm. tell well, me. I think first of all, the fact that the MSME sector is notice to move from small business sector to MSME, small, micro, small and medium sized enterprise sector, that it is recognized and it's no longer just a sexy thing to talk about, but that solid work is being done, solid focus, and the ecosystem has become so sensitive to how important the sector is, including the financial um, sector, which can do more, but they have done a lot so far the whole business of celebrating the creativeness of our small businesses throughout the ecosystem, you know, and the fact that we even have a policy framework which speaks to how policies should be developed, how services should be developed. We know at the table, Mm -hmm. nobody is speaking for the MSMEs. They have to be conversing with the MSMEs. Yes. And that, you know, the sector is not just people who can't find work. It's people who leave institutions like we are accustomed to mm-hmm. with a business model that says they can develop a business. They don't have to go look at work. It's to me a solid output of the kind of work that team JBDC has put in. I'm very proud of that for the team. Because not me alone. I'm just managed to get all the photos. Yes. But it's not about me alone. I'm at the front leading, but leading, I have a different concept of leadership, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah it's not well, about No, yeah, leader, lead her ship. Aye. There you go. Aye. Aha, you get Aye. it. Three different syllables, but one thing. Aye. Valerie, Aye. A, a, a couple of years ago, I had the pleasure of working, you know, departmentally. I was heading the Department of Sociology at the time. Mm-hmm. And we were doing the employment, employee engagement thing. Wonderful, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that for me was signal. There's a lot of there's a lot of information that's still yet to be published coming out of it. But I just right. want to uh, want to personally thank you mm-hmm. and your staff for mm-hmm. the involvement at the time. Yeah, it's, it's some of the stuff still not out to the public yet, but um, no, it will be. It will no, be I definitely. Have my Defini- yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Very important. Yes. So, I imagine, though, that you're going to continue working um, or doing stuff. What, what I've done decided to do is to retread my tires. Yes. Right? I okay. mean, I'm going to be looking from a different angle mm-hmm. and bringing different um, skills to the table, different views. And remember, no, you know, we free. We can do advocacy. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So right. So, so no, you I don't have. You're not. You're, you're not a public servant anymore. But of no, course, you continue to serve the people. To I'm serve the public. All right. No, I'm a public city servant. No. Love it. We love it. <laughs> All right. So, I, I've looked at the data, Valerie, yes. and um, as well as the anecdotes, and without yes. any question, we have yes. seen an upward, steady upward curve. A, of all of the indicators relating to the success of small my MSMEs, mm-hmm. right? I know what the, the failure rate looked like earlier on, right? And um, you know we're not where we want to go to be yet, but it okay. looks like we will get there. Um, will. And those entities that work with you, those yes. people that have come to you, have yes. seen an increase in success rate. Of course. Um, of course. where where are we ultimately going to go? Well, you know, first of all, and I know you are very much um, focused to on the whole real development of our country, mm-hmm. economic and otherwise. Now, we don't talk about establishing businesses, you know. We talk about development of businesses, Aye. which we're talking about sustainability. We're talking about the development of the entrepreneur and how that filters back into generational wealth. Aye. And how it impacts that them can send them children to school. Aye. So, you see, it's a development plan we're on with using the, the small business as our family to move that aspect forward. All right. We're talking about helping them to understand them need pension and health mm-hmm. care, like big company and so on. 
So we in a serious development process. Valerie, not establishing Valerie companies. you know, um, I want you to stay with me a little bit. Stay with me. Active for the good of our nation. And believe me, it's in the interest of the nation. I'm having a conversation with public servant extraordinaire. Mm. Immediate past CEO of the JBDC, mm. Valerie Vieira. Um, mm. My personal friend. I, yes. can, I still cannot believe that. I mean, I have to pinch myself and say, I realize uh, me, me, me over, me dip on the other side of the curve too. <laughs> But Valerie, you know, um, again, I'm going to come back to you in a little bit, right? Yeah. With, with, with this, with a question. Yeah. But you are the same Valerie Vieira that I met. That you were. I remember. Uh, um, you fill the room, right? And I'm not saying not about no size or anything, right? Because you can not take it that way. You fill up the room, right? Up there, we're under the top floor. <laughs> at the L, um, on what? What is the name again? The Trinidad Terrace up, upstairs yeah. there, right? Yeah. And Valerie just full in the full the place and um <laughs> and you know um and this is you. Yeah. This is you. This is you have had a a major impact not just on the JBDC and public service. Mm-hmm. But you have walked a walk and one of the best ways of teaching people is to walk in a particular way mm-hmm. and in your life so that the next generation and in particular people of your gender or your mm-hmm. sex, no, I know about you, yes. whatever, yeah, right. whatever. can look at a model and say, you know, I wouldn't mind being like her or taking some things from her. Mm-hmm. You're a woman. Yes. No cisgender none. You're a woman. Yes. Right? Yes. And you um have lived a lot of your life in the public gaze. Yes. What are the lessons that you think your life has taught to the next generation of women or other generations of women? And what is it that you want to say to younger women at this point? Well, first of all, I want them to see themselves as persons. For me, I don't need affirmative action. I don't want you to placate me because I'm a woman. I want to be valued for what I can contribute. And and that is always at the front of my space. So if it's a meeting, I go fully prepared. I'm not going there to smile and dress up and people nice to me because I'm, you know, a nice looking woman. I have the mirror tells me that. Yeah, long time. Yeah, long time. Yes. So I want to be, and I say our young ladies need to be confident that they can contribute and prepare to be able to say that. The next thing is that, you know, I'm never daunted by this thing called sexual harassment. Mm-hmm. I know it's topical, and, and, and maybe there are a few incidents that might have been there for me, but I've never really treated it as something to embrace because I, up front, you know, yeah. I will make it clear what is on the table, and it's not me my body or anything. Yeah. It's my brain. Yeah. But you know, know but, no but on top, but let's tell you something. If I'm doping no over fine as well, yeah? Well, of course. Yeah. So that's a big part yeah. of it. You have that personality yes. that you are. Yes. Right. Because oftentimes like I've been away on executive boards representing the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. And for four years, I didn't realize I was the only woman on the board. Uh, I yeah. <laughs> 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 we just had to do what I have to do. All right. Yes, and, and I think that is it. When we go as women, go as a person of worth, keep your integrity in that handbag. Mm-hmm. I am ha- proud to come home with my integrity in the handbag still. All right. Intact. All right, gotcha. And very important, of course, that you have worked across administration, from one administration oh, yes. to another, another, another. Oh, yes. And let me tell you something, yes. you know, my friend. Mm-hmm. Is the Big P in my life and my work is people. All right. No other P. Right. And no color coding when I'm doing my work. No. The people select Unless, who Can you not an electrician? No. <laughs> All and the people right. people select a person, Got you. a person, and I work with them because I'm paid to work with them. Got you. And uh, that's it. All right. So, finally, um, it's a kind of passing of the baton, but he was always there. Mm-hmm. Harold. 
Yes. Good boy. Always in my um beside me with my handbag. Good boy, don't it? <laughs> of course. Aye, he long time. So long. long time I know him too, you know. <laughs> well, he, would, he would not be there. Yes. With me. Yes. If I had any doubt. Got you. Yes. All right. So so it is in good hands. Valve Vera. God bless you. Thank you so much for your service. Thanks for speaking with us here on the hotline. And personally, thank you for a lifetime of mm. friendship and collegiality. And the mission continues. Oh, I, 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 I'll tell you. Yes. Enough love. Enough love. See, thank I'm, you so much. I'll have an ogop wrap up for you to next time. Yeah? Yes, man. All right. Soon, soon, soon come. Okay, Valerie. <laughs> All right. Blessings, my friend. One love. You know, special departure from Go Your Business this morning. Well, it's still Go, it's still go Your Business. But we had to have a conversation with Valerie Vieira, the former CEO of the JBDC. Um, and stretched a little bit more because there's just so much about this lady. Yeah. Young, young public servants, read her CV. Read up about her. Somebody to emulate. <laughs> 